Welcome to WrestleForce. We are here at the Lopping Hall in Loughton and we've got a great afternoon of wrestling extravaganza for you. We had a great evening here last night. Some of you may have been here last night. Anyone here from last night at all? Fantastic. And we're going to give you another cracking afternoon of entertainment for you here this evening. Before we get underway with the action, my name is Jay Pugh, I'm your compare for this, this afternoon, and our referee, Mr. Martin Raymondson. Give it up for him, everybody. Okay, before we get underway with our first contest for this evening, I have to ask you one simple question, and that is, are you ready for some wrestling? Yeah. No, that was okay, Loughton, but I know you can do a bit better than that. I said, are you ready? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. We're going to kick off this afternoon's action with a singles contest and it's set for one fall. Let's play the music and introduce our first wrestler to the ring, please. Welcome back, WrestleWars fans. We are back at Loughton with some more fantastic professional wrestling coming your way right now. We have the first match kicking it off. Making his way Tommy Lawrence to making his way to the ring. Hailing from East London, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tommy Lawrence. Tommy Lawrence wrestling yesterday against Sapphire Reed. Absolutely embarrassed by her. I tried to embarrass her actually, but uh, she wasn't having it. He actually told her to go to the kitchen and make him a sandwich, which is just so out of line, so out of order. And uh, well, he got what coming to him. He got a slap to the face. And she brought the fight to him, and he and she managed to pick up the victory against Tommy Lawrence, which he was not happy with. Which as well, if you've watched the match back on Wrestle's TV, you see he was visibly very upset, very annoyed about that. But tonight he reckons he can he can get back on track. We'll have to see how this outcome of the match goes. Exactly right, here he is, Danny Haynes coming back, no longer with James Perrell, which is great to see. Although, although James is changing the lead by the seams of things, it's going to be fantastic to see how he does tonight, but I am joined here on commentary with Jake, as he's just setting himself up here. If you wish. <laughs> well, hello Kieran, how are you sir? I'm very good, yourself? Yeah, doing very well. It's been a while since I've been back at WrestleForce, and... Uh, Pleasure to be joining you here at the Lopping Hall in Loughton. It has been a very long time. I believe I was still a trainee the last time you was here. I believe so. Here we go. So we've got Danny Haynes here, someone who's uh, been under the guidance of the current undisputed champion, James Fowler, I believe. That is true. I was just talking about that earlier. It's very nice to see that he's broke away from him now. Was not guided the right way. Was not looked after nicely. Although James Fowler has been changing his ways a little bit. So it seems. It looks like we're going to get a decisive uh, victory later on as uh, Farrell takes on the unbreakable Mark True coming up later on this afternoon. The crowd are very hot here tonight. I have to see how he does. Looking at the future of British wrestling right here. Nice takedown. Uh, Tommy Lawrence wrestled Sapphire Reed yesterday, which he was very upset about, which we just heard him shouting at the crowd that he managed to kick out, which I, I have to say he did not. Well, judge for yourselves when this uh, episode is available on WrestleForce TV on our YouTube channel. Some submission wrestling. Test, test of strength, first of all. 
it's going to be interesting to see how Danny displays his skills in this contest. Tommy Lawrence, the more experienced of the two, even though Tommy Lawrence is pretty new to the scene himself. Nice headlock. You can certainly see where the undisputed champion has been showing uh, his advice, giving his advice. Oh, wow, come seriously? on. There's no need for that. No. I'm surprised that our official Martin Raymondson has actually let him get away with that. And you hear the crowd at the Lopping Hall showing their appreciation for Danny Haynes. Been training regularly at the WrestleForce Academy. And that could be you. Would you like to be a professional wrestler? Do you see the future yourself as the future of British wrestling? Head down to the WrestleForce Academy. Follow us on social media. All information at WrestleForce.com. Nice takedown. And there you go. There's the moves he's been learning at WrestleForce training. Done very well. Got Tommy Lawrence down. Could he maybe manage to get the pin or submission? Who knows? Nice reversal from Tommy Lawrence. Sends Danny into the ropes. Sunset flip pin from Danny. Can he get it? Yes, Gets he him can. over. Shoulders up just in the nick of time. Smart by Tommy going back into the corner. But there's a back elbow by Haynes. The young up-and-comer from Claxton on sea. Oh, oh, forearm to the face. Forearm to the face. I'm surprised he didn't go for an arm drag, to be honest. It was a lovely reversal. But now we're going to see more of that vicious side coming out of Tommy Lawrence. Yeah, it's unfortunate to see. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a good sporting contest, this one. So you was here last night, was you, Kieran? I was. I was calling the action. I'm still out of injury, unfortunately. But next weekend, I'll be back in the ring. Well, we look forward to seeing that, my friend. I'm very excited myself. Stomp right on the back. Well, I'm not so sure about that, to be quite honest. If you uh, if you can understand what the crowd is saying here to see oh, this here afternoon. Oh, we go. Danny's fighting back. Oh, did you hear the impact with that forearm to the back? One thing to keep our uh, to think about is Danny Haynes when he first started a good few months ago. Now he actually has suffered some cracked ribs, which still play up with him now. At such a young age as well, I don't know how that's going to fare well for, for the future anyway, especially as you get older. The more you train and the more weight you put on. Let's hope that his uh, career is not over before it even gets started. That is very true. So far he seems to be doing alright, but I mean, you never know, just one kick to the ribs could... If you look at his back already, I mean, it's, it's as red as these ropes. <laughs> that is very true. Well, he's fighting back now, he's hit the ropes, he's ducked one. He's duck two. What's he going to go for? Oh, humongous crossbody. Beautifully done. Ah, see, the inexperience there, which I'm sure Farrell's watching, should have hooked the leg there, Kieran. That is true. That is true. That would that possibly might have been able to keep it down for that extra second. And for a back suplex? No. Daddy Haynes reverses. Again, back with that forearm. Seems to be playing on his mind what happened last night, which you may have catched on WrestleFalls TV when Tommy Lawrence won against Sapphire. And that kick right to the center of the back. Well, it's fair to say that his uh, win-loss record in WrestleFalls is not the greatest compared to some others, Kieran, I must add. That is very true. I mean, the guy has only had two matches now in WrestleFalls. <laughs> you heard that chop. Echoed right the way around the lopping hole. Oh, just laying in those forearms. Nice clothesline. It's almost like he's trying to rip his head off there with those lines. Yeah. Oh, but there's the speed. The di there's, there's an arm, the drag. arm drag. You were talking about? Yeah, exactly. And there's another the one. Wow. Ducks a clothesline. Drilled him with a DDT into the center of the ring. Oh, nice uh, Samoan splash. There's a two. Shoulder up. 
Well, he hooked their leg there. He may have been listening to you, but not, still not enough to keep the man down. No, he didn't get quite all, a lot of height on that Samoan splash, I must say. That probably put a lot of effort, that probably played up on the back a lot more, to be honest with you. If he just lifted himself off his feet a little bit more on that splash, probably got a little bit more momentum, he could have had the job done. Possibly, but that's where it comes with the, him being so new. He's still trying to work out what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do. Well, there's Whoa. a kick right to the That's something you don't want to do. No, that's definitely something you don't want to don't want to have to take. Not going for the cover though. Oh, he's going freeze. Back suplex. Oh, never mind. Manages to twist it through. That could Adams be through. all over. It's all over. And that is all she writes. Fantastic Ladies match. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the contest, Tommy Lawrence. Picking up the victory tonight. It's Steady Haynes. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's back on track now. After being so embarrassed by Sapphire, he managed to beat Danny Haynes.